All right, anybody that's got a vehicle with these wheel simulators on it is aware of uh, some of the potential problems. Usually there's two kinds that you have. You got the kind with the snap ring on the back, and it's just kind of, you know, you pound it on there with a rubber mallet. Or you have the kind that does not have a snap ring on the back like this, and it lines up with two of your studs. You put stud extenders on there and you position it accordingly and slide it on and then it's held on with uh, lug, real lug nuts. You know these are just part of the rim itself but then the studs go through the holes and it's held on by two lug nuts. But if you've had either of those you know they both have inherent problems. The snap-on kind looks really nice when it's on there just like that. Walking out of the gas station or out of the store or something on a road trip and it ends up looking like that sometimes. Well, I've lost three of these now, the snap-on kind. Um, and I went with the snap-on kind because one of the problems with the kind that are held on by the two lug nuts is I can't tell you how many times I've also been at the gas station or at the store or something and seen somebody pull up or drive away and you just see it kind of flopping on there sloppy and or held on by a zip tie <laughs> which is something people will commonly do and it can work as long as you keep on it and maintain it that can work it's just not the nicest end result look so what I decided to do after talking to the guy after ordering a, another set of these I said you know doesn't anybody make these so you can have both features because the lug nut kind doesn't have the snap-on you know the compression fit and the compression fit snap-on one doesn't have the lugs to hold it on I said why can't they combine the two so that's what I did and I'll show you that here all right so I've already pried one of what I don't know what you call them I guess fake lug nuts <laughs> off of there and the other one is ready to come out there it's out so I don't know if you can see but the back side is crimped. It's kind of crimped around the existing hole. You know, it's kind of, it, it protrudes through and then it's crimped around. So I found the easiest way to do the least amount of damage or impact on the, uh, the rim itself was to bend this with, from the back side. I kind of go around it with a screwdriver first, you know, kind of prying it all the way around and then the pliers to get it, you know, almost so it sinks straight up. And it just about pretty much falls out if you're patient and work at it long enough. So that's pretty simple. Then you've got these lug nut extenders. Um, they have, you know, thread, threaded on the ID and the OD. Um, there's not a lot of thread on the, this stud to grab onto, I've noticed, but I haven't lost the one on the other side yet. <laughs> so you're gonna put them across from each other, obviously. Um, this rim is not as nice of a fit as I would like it to be. I had to kind of get creative to get it on there. You got to watch your valve stem here. And you got to line up with those two extensions. And then just like you would normally. I actually, I'm actually going to grab a rubber mallet to get that on there. All right, so you got your extenders on there, you got your snap ring on there. Now, on the other side, what I did is I put this washer with a little relief ground on it, clearance just to clear that, and then I put on this lock nut, a nylon lock nut, um, which I had to buy separately. And the reason I did that is, if you look straight across, this fit on there with, with no problem, clearance. But when I try to get it on the other side, and I don't know why it is, I don't know if this, if the hole is, just, if they're just not, I can't imagine. I'm just not sure why, but there's just not enough clearance on this side. So for symmetry and all of that, I, I put the washer and the locking nut on there. And the locking nut gave me peace of mind because on uh, the previous wheel simulator that was on here, the nut was missing and the extender was missing on one and I just had one extender left 
and that thing was just flopping on there. Again, pointing out the, the issues with, with those. So with that lock ext uh, lug extender on there and the washer, the washer gives it better surface contact and it's, it's not coming off, you know, it's a lock washer. I've, like I said, I've, I drove the other side I fixed like this and I have probably over 7,500 miles on it without any issues, hasn't come loose, haven't lost it. So yeah, it's not as pretty as the original lugs or a replacement lug on the stud would be. Yours might fit, you might have clearance. I don't fully understand why it's not symmetrical there, why I have so much more room on this side versus this side. But, uh, you know, it might just be the way the, the snap ring settled in or, but either way. Um, so I went with the lock, locking nuts and you just got to figure out what works best for you. But this is certainly, uh, again, not a, a tear all. It's not the only way to do it. It worked for me and I haven't lost anything yet. So, you know, if you're, if you're looking for a solution, this could be one for you. Um, and I think it's a lot more attractive looking than having zip ties through your, your holes here and, and all that stuff. So, or one of these flopping around because it doesn't have the snap ring on it, which is very, seems to be a common result that you get. So anyways, hopefully that's helpful and good luck to you. And we'll see you on the next one.